Hey everybody, Mitchell here from thehockeyrefbook.com for the final video about game management. This is video number six of six of this series. This video is called Earning Trust. All right, now as always, things in these videos are complemented by the book, How to Referee Hockey. It's not just about the rule book and it's available on thehockeyrefbook.com for purchase uh, along with excerpts from it uh, for you to explore and set yourself up for success when you're on the ice. So this series has been all about, whether you realize it or not, communication, all the videos. So usually when we think about game management, a lot of officials will think, well, that's all about calling penalties. Okay. But ultimately what we've done is we've gotten into this idea of communication. And this video is about trust and earning trust of the arena, right? I mean, trust is a big part, but not necessarily what people automatically think of. It's the firm belief in reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something, right? Trust in a product. And ultimately what we're trying to provide in a hockey game is the, our product, our skills, to keep the game fair and safe, okay? So when we earn that trust, we're going to have more success. And here's, here's the, the model that I've shown you time and time again, but today I'm really going to give you a different idea about how it is that you earn that trust. And trust is really earned not just by the penalties you call, but by all the skills that are talked about in videos on this YouTube channel, in this, in this series, all the skills that are talked about in the book, right? Positioning, stay out of the way, see the play, procedures, stop play, separate players, start play again. And then of course, game management, which is what this video series has been, has been focused on. And ultimately, earning trust is about knowing your job and doing your job. If you think that you can just call the right penalties and that'll make you a good referee, you're not going to earn the trust of the arena with that because ultimately everyone in the arena is gonna disagree with you on a penalty at some point. Right? So you can't earn trust just based on penalty selection alone. You have to earn it with hustle, with a good attitude, with skating with a purpose, getting to position as fast as possible, getting to position before you have to be there, knowing where the puck's going, predicting what's going on, knowing how to implement your procedures to get you in the right position to prevent bad things from happening during stoppages. Right? Not rushing to go get the puck so that players end up pushing each other back and forth and you are off on the far side of the ice doing something else. You have to read these situations to earn the trust of the arena. It's about all these basic skills that's going to earn that trust. Because when people feel like you're putting an effort in and using skills that they don't understand, they'll understand in the back of their head. They won't be able to say, hey, that referee knew exactly how to use home base. Or, hey, that referee really knows how to separate players at the whistle. They won't be able to say that, but, but they'll know in the back of their brains, even when they're yelling at you. They'll know somewhere in their unconscious that you know what you're doing. Know your job, do your job, earn that trust. When you've earned trust, it's going to look in a specific way. Trust is resilience for an official. Your ability to bounce back, your ability to solve, your ability to overcome issues. That's what trust looks like when you've earned the trust in the arena by doing all the skills, the basic skills up into game management to do all those skills successfully. You can overcome, you can solve, you can bounce back even though people are still questioning you and still yelling. You'll overcome those missed calls. You're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna miss calls. You're gonna make the wrong call. You're gonna make a call and realize it wasn't an impact penalty. But if you have the trust of the arena, then you're going to discover that you can overcome those more easily. You're gonna be able to solve tough situations much more easily, right? You'll solve those tough situations because the arena will give you the opportunity to do it. They might still yell, but in the back of their brains, they're giving you the opportunity before they lose trust in you. Bounce back from, from controversy, from adversity, right? There's gonna be adversity in hockey games. There's some people that say the best games have some controversy, and some goal scoring. But the controversy is gonna happen. You as an official have to manage your stress, have to manage that controversy, and you'll be able to bounce back because all of these skills are helping you be re resilient, but the trust of the arena that they're giving you will allow you to be resilient. So you have to earn it, right? Putting in an effort, being in position, all those skills, positioning, procedures, game management, 
but you can also lo lose it. You can have a bad game. You can have a bad period. You can make a couple bad calls in a row. Right? You can be really tired and not look like you're really putting your effort in. Maybe you're not putting your effort in, but you have to identify that and you have to have a plan for what you're gonna do when you lose trust because sometimes things are outside our control. If a game has a whole bunch of controversy, even though maybe you're doing everything perfect or as close to perfect as possible, the arena will still trust you less because they're seeing a lot of questionable things happening on the ice, right? And they are going to blame the referee or the Lions people because that's what fans do. It's naturally our fault. But when you lose it, when you lose that trust and you'll just, you'll get that feeling in the arena like, I don't have this. It's back to basics. Push to get positioning perfect. Push to make sure that you are going to the right place, using your procedures, talking to the right players, predicting what's going to happen, doing things before they happen, being able to manage the situation. Game management is all about communication, right? We have, we have managing your own stress, we have nonverbals, we have verbals, we have hotspots, we have impact penalties, we have talking to coaches, right? We have all these skills, back to those basics, right? Refocus on the basic skills and get them moving again and you will re-earn that trust back, right? Back to the bottom of that pyramid and work your way up. And that's how you earn that trust back. Ultimately, often people think referees call penalties, call offsides, call laces. But what we have hopefully, what I have hopefully shown you in this video series, both these six ones and the bigger picture, is that officiating is about communication. Right? And it's about all the basic skills that give you a full tool belt to manage different situations. So don't get caught up the rule book is important, but don't get caught up in just the rule book. Understand that all of these other skills complement the rule book and allow you to have the most success possible when officiating a hockey game.